Welcome back. These are dark times for Elysium. Those delinquent fools have robbed even me. What did they take? I fashioned a key. A recipe, if you will, for an eternal flame. I intended to gift it to Persephone. With it, she could shine her light, even in the underworld. An eternal flame could bring order to this chaos. You understand her burden better than you let on. By enduring her sacrifice, Persephone keeps us safe in the underworld. So write the recipe again. What I wrote took lifetimes. We can't let it stay in the hands of humans who would use it against her. Keep her! Uh, Cassandra, we have to steal it back. You're a good man for wanting to protect Persephone. I'll help. Ah, I thank you. You are quickly becoming my friend and ally. An eternal flame sounds more like a myth than some simple recipe. Pa, I began writing the recipe with your father. It's as real as the danger we'd face without it. Why do you go to these lengths to save Persephone? She wouldn't do the same for you. Since these humans started acting against her, she's been suffering. When she suffers, we all suffer. Hermes, has it occurred to you she might just be using you? Of course not. She simply needs someone to rely on. She needs me. I'll find the rebels and get your recipe. That's all I ask. If you are spotted or cause a commotion, we risk retaliation. Go unseen.
should try to stay out of sight. of a madman. But it's been ripped. Where's the rest of it?
We need to get the recipe back. About that. Here it is. You've spared this realm great suffering, my friend. I wonder, where are you spotted? It was heavily guarded. Things got ugly. They will know it was us. They'll retaliate. I just wanted to help, but I've made things worse. I'm giving these torn pieces back, Hermes, but I'm trusting you. A flame that never dies could consume all of Elysium. I swear to you as your friend, 
I will only use the flame if it's absolutely necessary. Hermes things are worse in Elysium than I've been letting on. The rebels are organized and ready to fight. War is coming. We must crush the force behind the chaos. Let's fight for Persephone. You're so worried about Persephone, you can't even see. You're in just as much danger. I don't care what happens to me. You were caught when we stole back the Eternal Flame. The humans will retaliate for what we've done. What do you propose? That we kill them all? What choice do we have? Chaos came for us, and soon there will be blood on our hands. At least when you asked me to steal, it was from thieves. You're not a murderer, Hermes. You made me look like a fool when I sent you to Kiros. But I can still come back from that, and prove my worth. I told you, we were diverted. It doesn't matter. Please, I'm begging you, my friend. Help me to help her. You think that your obsession with Persephone entitles you to her love? It doesn't! She will never love you, Hermes! And no amount of killing will change that! Enough! <laughs> Question me. Thank me for stopping you both before you do something you regret. Mm. This isn't over. Stand down, both of you. You still have your parts to play in all of this. Now stop bickering and fulfill them.
You have your alone time. Tell me what's next. You're keeping up. Good. There's one more place we must weaken Persephone before our time together draws to a close. Her most devoted followers are gathering in a villa near Persephone's embrace. These are the most vile humans in Elysium that serve her every whim and dark desire. Are they under her possession? You might say they're more obsessed than possessed. But if you're thinking you can save these humans, you're sorely mistaken. Persephone's hold on them is too strong. Until now, you've been helping humans, not hurting them. I'm helping people who help us, and hurting people who stand in our way. Try to stay with me, won't you? So what do you have in mind for Persephone's followers? Poison in their wine should do the trick. Unfortunately, the wolf nearby ate the last of my aconite. You'll need to hunt it and extract the poison from its liver. This symposium shouldn't be too difficult to infiltrate, but once you're there, try to blend in with the other Persephone-obsessed humans. I'll find the poison and infiltrate the symposium. Don't worry. There'll be plenty of time to leave once the humans start drinking. Good luck.
A fresh face. Is this your first time at a devoted follower symposium? Uh, yes. Don't look so nervous, friend. Why don't you go meet some people, and then we will toast to our new arrivals? Oh, if you're at a loss for words, let other members know whether you think Adonis or Hermes is Persephone's soulmate. We debate that for hours here. Tell me, stranger, who do you think Persephone's soulmate is? The god or the human? Hermes! He clearly adores Persephone. Thank the gods! Someone here with some sense. Hermes doesn't get his due. He would follow Persephone to the end of the underworld. an argument, friend. We just got word that Persephone is expanding her palace. Should she build into the east or west of Elysium? I think she should expand west. Thank you! If she wants a view of all the Minoan architecture, she must add a wing in the west. that Hecate seeks to steal Persephone's throne for herself. Anyone who can't see that Hecate is trying to rule Elysium herself is blind. Persephone? Blind? How can you say such a thing? She has molded Elysium into paradise. She's a visionary. I'm ready for the toast. You know, everyone is saying what a great conversationalist you are. So knowledgeable about Persephone. You'll be a perfect fit here. These people really don't seem as corrupt as Ekati made them out to be. Everyone gather to toast our new members. Wait. The wine was... Well... I poisoned it. After we welcomed you so warmly, you're no friend. Guard! Just I die! Now. <laughs> Gatti owes me answers. The symposium wasn't at all what I expected. Why do I get the feeling I've been played? <laughs> 